guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Itzel and I am so excited to finally have the courage to start making YouTube videos. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be trying out different types of products and I'm talking about skincare, hot tools, um, just a different variety. I love buying stuff and comparing them with one the other. I love giving reviews. It's just one of those things that I like doing. It's so weird. But anyways, if that's something that you're interested in watching, please subscribe. Or if you know me, show your girls some support and subscribe. So today we're going to be comparing two products. So excited. This is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer, and this is the Bedhead Blowout Freak. Um, I was really stuck on which one to buy. So I know this one is very famous. The Revlon is just, it has so many great reviews. My friends use it, my mom uses it. I have never really been into like blow drying or giving myself blowouts. I'm more like either my hair is curly naturally or I am going to straighten it. Or lately I've been liking those beachy waves. Yeah, I was very stuck on which one to buy. They're both around the same price range. This one is $59.99 at Ulta, but at Target, I got it for $41.99. And this one is also, I believe, $59.99 at Ulta, but you can find it at Target for $43.99. They are very similar, as you can see. The cool tip at the top are identical. These both have the multiple heating settings, which is low, cool, and high. So the Blowout Freak is made out of tourmaline, blah, 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 tourmaline <laughs> ceramic. It's technology that helps reduce frizz and supposed to leave your hair smoother. This one is made out of nylon pin and tufted bristles. Um, so that way it can help detangle your hair and give you that volume that it needs. Oh, actually one thing about these brushes is that I see a problem with time. Look at that, look at that. I just unpacked this brush and it's already damaged. That's a bummer. This is nice, this is really nice. The weight difference, this one is definitely lighter. Yeah, still less work than using an actual brush and a blow dryer to give yourself that blowout. Really excited to try this out. What I wanna do is use the Blowout Freak on my right side and then use the uh, Revlon One Step Volumizer on my left side. I am so excited. I just want to start using them already. Okay, let's get started. I am going to use the Prime and Prep from Dry Bar. It's supposed to prime, prep, and detangle all at the same time. Um, it's also formulated with biotin, vitamins B and C, and UV blockers. And it's supposed to also protect your hair from heat up to 450 Fahrenheit. So before I started, I realized that I was wearing a black shirt and um, you weren't going to be able to see the results of my hair. Um, so I went ahead and changed to a white shirt. I'm going to start off with the high heat setting. Hmm. kind of smells funny. So with just one slow pass, my hair is almost dry, which is pretty freaking cool. Wow, look at that. It really dries up your hair, but I'm not feeling this whole frizziness part. I just passed through that one. It's stupid. 
full shot. This is honestly really nice. I am just not feeling this whole frizziness right here. Like, I mean, it's pretty frizzy. Other than that, it's very smooth and soft. So let's go ahead and try out this one, the Blowout Freak. Let's see what this one's about. All right, again, I'm gonna start with the high heat setting. I'm really trying to figure out if I have more hair on my right side than on my left side because this part, I mean, it's it's dry, but not as quick as the Revlon one, for sure. Not as quick. Okay. The Revlon did dry up my hair quicker. Um, the Blowout Freak seems like it takes a little bit more time, but I do see there's a lot more shine and a lot more volume from the Blowout Freak than the Revlon One Step Volumizer. I am going to section off my hair in half and continue using the Blowout Freak on my right side and then I'm gonna use the Revlon on my left side and see how long it takes me to do both sides. Oh, oh, I don't know if I have big ears or what it is, but this, Turns your ears. I kind of have to cover. Good thing I can do it with one hand because if not, that would totally be a failure. I mean, wow. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? Look at that shine. Look at that volume. This is so pretty. Although I am a little bit nervous about these frizzy hairs up here, but these are pretty much short hairs that, I don't know, they're just growing out, decided to. Okay, I'm gonna keep on working on this side with the uh, Revlon. Wow, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Here are the final results of the Revlon One Step Volumizer and the Bedhead Blowout Freak. Honestly, guys, both of these products are amazing. I wouldn't be able to choose, um, but I am gonna say that the bed head is lighter and I did feel like it was super soft when I would get close to my roots. Didn't hurt me. I was expecting for it to pull my hair. Both of them don't pull your hair. It definitely works on curly hair. <laughs> I know there were some reviews on YouTube that it wasn't gonna work on curly hair, but it sure does, and it looks super cute. I'm just gonna go over it one more time. This is the real final results of the um, Bedhead Blowout Freak. I absolutely love this one. This one just, I mean, I don't know if you guys 
can see it, but it just has so much shine. It has a lot of volume. It's actually softer and it's easier just to manipulate the brush. Let me go ahead and just finish the other side. This is as good as it can get on this side. It's not bad. I don't know. I don't know about this whole Frazina stuff. You know, now I'm like, oh, I have to get the straightener and kind of just go over a little bit so it can minimize some frizziness. I do feel like the Blowout Freak really gave me more volume. It just feels smoother, shinier, as you can see. The Blowout Freak really allowed me to manipulate the brush easier and smoother. And I was able to get more curl than the Revlon um, One Step Volumizer. The Revlon has a, I don't know, like a tougher grip when you're brushing the hair out than the uh, Blowout Freak. The Blowout Freak for sure is smoother. So if you want something that's nice and smooth and it's actually lighter, I did feel the difference when I was doing you know, one hand and then the other hand and then, you know, doing both at the same time. Like I definitely would highly recommend both of them, but I do like quality. I like to buy products that are going to give me the results that I want. Let me know guys, which one do you guys think did the job? I mean, this one definitely does the job. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I think this one does the job, but really, really does the job and lets you manipulate it, you know? A blowout freak, look at this. I tried giving this side curls, okay? And it didn't happen. I mean, it gave me that little wave at the bottom, but it didn't happen. This side, I gave it a curl and it's there. It's like a lot more visible than the left side is in the Revlon. All right, so there it is. Let me know on the comments below what you guys think of these products. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and share it to your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.